Hello and welcome back to the Medic Trust plugin. Uh, I'm Nathaniel Wilkerson and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the uh, new extension or <coughs> extend feature, sorry, that we have um, with these uh, Medic tools. And I just uh, today have finished up this uh, extend member uh, tool. Uh, it's been a long time in coming. Uh, unfortunately, and uh, finally I just bit the bullet and, and somehow managed to pull it off. Um, so, anyways, just want to demonstrate that. I'm going to put that back up there. And let's return back to this previous model that we used uh, for the other two features here. Um, <coughs> and the thing I wanted to address is this uh, little valley rafter here that we've had some problems with because we were left with uh, this situation here at the bottom and at the top we're left with this situation okay so <coughs> what we now have is the ability to deal with something like this um, uh, first things first it, it, with something like this it's often easy to deal with it by using all three of the tools or possibly even two of the tools rather than just the one but let's demonstrate what we can do um, <clears throat> so with the extend tool the first thing you do is you will select the target face and then rather than just uh, selecting the member to extend you have to select the face of the member that you want to extend so for instance if we wanted to extend this face out to here we would select this face and you'll notice though here we have two faces and we can't actually select two faces at once so what we'll gonna what we're gonna want to do is actually trim this member back until we've created a single face, and then extend that face out, and then trim it back to whatever geometry we want. So let's go ahead and try that out. So first of all, I'm going to um, I'm going to trim this uh, back to a single face, just finding a convenient uh, <coughs> face to do that to. So I'm going to actually trim it to that face. So let's go ahead and use the single face trim uh, here and we'll just go ahead and select that and then just select anywhere on this member we want to trim it and you can see now we've got a single face that we can extend okay so now I'm going to go ahead and select the extend member and I'm going to actually trim it past this uh, corner here so that I can then trim it back to that so let's go ahead and extend it so first we select the target face and then we select the face we want to extend okay and there you go <clears throat> and now we're going to select the trim to function and we're going to select these two faces and then we'll just go ahead and select an edge right here okay and there you have it now we have this valley rafter exactly where we want it okay let's go ahead and address the top of the rafter now okay in this situation a little bit simpler um, primarily because we don't have to end with a more complex face, so it's really going to take two operations here. So first things first, let's go ahead and trim this back to a single face again. <coughs> and if I can just select on it, um, actually it doesn't really matter what face I select, I guess. Okay, so we've got that. <coughs> and now we're going to hit extend. And I think we're going to want to extend it up to here. I need a space mouse. This is ridiculous. Let's like that face. And there you have it. And and obviously these two are <coughs> components, so it, it did that one as well on the other side. So now we have the Valley Rafter correctly modeled and positioned as it should be, top and bottom. So that, in a nutshell, is the new extend features. Not much to it. You select a target face. You select the face that you want to extend and you're off and running. Um, just to show you too, you can also use this for more complex um, geometry. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and create a beam and I'm going to go with a uh, let's see, a steel beam here. Let's go with a rectangular tube that has some rather complex geometry. <coughs> so <coughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put that right here. Okay, so now you can see that we've got a tube here. Structural tube. And we're going to extend that 
out to here to the side of this just to test this out so we'll go ahead and select a face and then we'll select the face here and you can see that it extended out just as we had expected and even though this is a complex face with the inner loop or hole in it it still respects that information and you'll notice that this is still a solid group uh, exactly what we want so and also too the cool thing is is um let's go ahead and let's just regen this and put it back to what it was actually edit let's edit it um <coughs> let's turn this into a uh, timber okay now if you have custom materials uh on the end of this beam for instance which in this case we do um yeah it'll it'll it should respect that as well so let's go ahead and try that one more time and there you have it the, the face material is retained all right so that's pretty much it um nice little uh, addition to the trust plugin that gives you yet another tool to handle uh, some customizations with um granted this is a very new feature uh, so, you know, I, I, there's a possibility that I've missed something or there's some uh, state that you can get this tool into that might cause you problems. So proceed with caution, but uh, I think it uh, seems to work reasonably well. So thank you so much and I appreciate your support.